what are all these machines? How do they work? After hearing all this information about going green, it may seem a little overwhelming with all the technical terms. You may have never even heard of some of these technologies. Well, I'm here to help try and demystify some of that for you. We've seen some things about photovoltaics, but what about the other types of energy? Wind turbines are one of the best up-and-coming types of renewable energy. I mean, what's easier than using something that's completely free and occurs naturally? Obviously, there's more to how a wind turbine works than a few simple steps, but on the basic level, there's only about four steps that go into making energy from wind. As the wind causes the turbines to turn, a generator produces electricity. This electricity is sent to a substation. Now, you've probably seen substations before while driving around. Well, they can either convert high voltage to lower levels, or in this case, increase it so it can travel long distances. Once the voltage goes through the substation, it's put on a grid where it can go out to homes or businesses. We just installed a geothermal system. We uh, have uh, some wells 200 feet down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Geothermal? 200 feet underground? Why are we putting wells in the ground? Well, geothermal comes from the Greek words geo, meaning earth, and therm, meaning heat essentially heat from the earth. Deep underground there are reservoirs of water that are hot because of the heat of the core of the earth. If the steam forces its way out it causes something you may have heard of. Geysers. The steam from this can be used to produce power but in this situation they're using what's called a geothermal heat pump. Heat pumps are used to regulate and control the heating and cooling in a building or home. For a home setting pipes are placed in the ground in a looping formation which can be either horizontal or vertical. In the winter, cold water is pumped through the pipes, passing through the warmer ground beneath, and coming back as warm water. This warm water is turned into heat by a heat exchanger, an electric compressor, and can then go through the ventilation of the home. They're unique because in the summer this process can be reversed, cooling the house. Using a geothermal heat pump can drastically reduce your bills and are being implemented by more and more people. Hopefully you've gotten a better understanding of how some of the green technologies work and are being implemented in our own community. They might be a little pricey right now, but the long-term benefits are definitely worth it, both in your wallet and in the good you'll be doing for the environment. And most scientists will agree that this is, this is a very critical point in the future for generations just to be able to survive, to be able to eat, to be able to drink, to be able to uh, survive and enjoy the standard of living that we've grown accustomed to.